congratulate you for taking admission in IGNU. Uh, as you are uh, well aware that uh, IGNU is a central university established by an act of parliament on September 20th, 1985. And um, uh, it has very recently been, um, you know, uh, awarded the A++ ranking by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council of India, uh, which is really a prestigious, um, you know, kind of achievement. A very great achievement for the university and you should be proud and happy to be part of such an organization of an institution. Basically, IGNU is an institution with a difference. It was established to democratize higher education uh, uh, so that the opportunities of higher learning could be extended to learners from, to the aspirants basically from every nook and corner of the country uh, and also overseas. Now, um, if you see that it is a, a system which was developed to, uh, as an alternative to the existing system of education, basically emphasizing innovation, cost effectiveness, flexibility, and uh, uh, social involvement. That is basically to democratize, de-elitize higher education and extend the opportunities to all those who are desirous of seeking but could not avail in the conventional or the formal system for various reasons. You will be aware and you should be aware that IGNU's degrees, diplomas, certificates are recognized by all the member institutions of the Association of Indian Universities and they are at par with degrees, diploma, certificates of all Indian universities, deemed universities and institutions. So, um, IGNU is an institution of great repute, a mega university and um, what I would be dealing with right now, probably you have uh, well, uh, you know, gone through through the uh, all the prospectus which is available, the information which is available on the dynamic website of IGNU or even in the printed form. So, uh, basically, what are the objectives of this uh, great institution? The main objectives of IGNU are to advance and disseminate learning and knowledge via diversity of means. Uh, then it provides opportunities of higher education to large segments of the population, promotes educational well-being of the community generally, and also uh, to maintain the high quality and standards uh, of uh, the teaching learning and the quality of instruction that is imparted to its learners. Now, the university, as we are saying, is a university with a difference. It is a unique um, uh, institution in various ways. So you, you should be aware of the various unique features of the institution. First of all, that it offers all its programs in the ODL methodology, that is in the open and distance learning methodology. It adopts the ODL methodology for its program delivery. Then you should know that the university has a national and international presence. It has flexible entry qualifications. It offers a wide range of academic programs at affordable costs. It, it uh, lends flexibility in terms of place, place and duration of study. Then it has a very um, uh, well integrated uh, student support services network, which as I just said is all over the country. And it also offers um, uh, the facility of admissions, which uh, we have admissions twice a year, once in January and um, the second is in uh, July. So you are our learners like of the July 2020 admission cycle. Then um, you should also uh, be proud of the fact that IGNU has many accolades, many achievements to its credit. It has, uh, you know, some of the very important achievements, which I will just quickly tell you is that it has been recognized as a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning in 1993. It has been given the award of excellence for distance education study material by the Commonwealth of Learning in 1999. Then uh, something which really is very unique and um, to this institution is that it has a series of 24 hour educational channels, uh, Gyan Darshan, and it is the nodal agency for these channels and regular transmissions are done from the studios at the Electronic Media Production Center in IGNU. Then it has a regular broadcast facility, uh, you know, a provision for educational broadcast with 
a facility for live interaction. Then also uh, uh, another important achievement is that UNESCO has declared IGNU as the largest institution of higher learning um, in the year 2010. 2010. Then uh, it is the largest network of uh, learner support system, uh, both uh, within the country and also overseas. Then, as I just mentioned earlier, that it has been accredited by, uh, it has been uh, graded as A plus plus ranking uh, by the NAT in uh, just uh, recently in January 2021. So, um, uh, you have registered for various programs of IGNU, and uh, these academic programs are designed and developed by the 21 schools of studies that we have, which are located here in the headquarters in Medangari. Now, uh, the uh, schools, they develop programs. The school of study, like uh, if you see the list of the schools of study, um, they are headed by a director who will plan, supervise, and develop and organize the, uh, its uh, academic programs um, uh, in different, uh, you know, uh, in a proper coordination. It's not just developing the programs, they have to be delivered to the target group of learners. So it, 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 they operate in coordination with various uh, divisions and centers of the university, which are also located here at the headquarters. So uh, the basic purpose is that the uh, programs have are of, uh, you know, uh, across various disciplines and uh, they are at various levels so that uh, they uh, can meet the requirements of the learners for whom they are designed. The school of studies, I'll just uh, quickly go through the 21 schools of studies which um, are here, uh, uh, which all develop and design the academic programs. School of Humanities, School of Social Sciences, School of Sciences, School of Education, School of Continuing Education, School of Engineering and Technology, School of Management Studies, School of Health Sciences, School of Computer and Information Sciences, School of Agriculture, School of Law, School of Journalism and New Media Studies, School of Gender and Development Studies, School of Tourism and Hospitality Services Management, School of Inter and Transdisciplinary Studies, School of Social Work, School of Vocational Education and Training, School of Extension and Development Studies, School of Foreign Languages, um, School of Translation Studies and Training, School of Performing and Visual Arts. So ranging from the very basic generic disciplines that is in your arts, humanities and social sciences, we also have the very niche areas like the gender and development studies or uh, you can say in the extension and development studies. The very recently they have also launched the program on animal welfare, PG diploma in animal welfare and um, uh, just uh, uh, the program on um, uh, very shortly the program on value education is also going to be launched. So we see that there is a diverse range of uh, academic offerings, and I'm, I'm sure you other learners would have taken uh, admission in uh, one of these programs offered by IGNU. So um, uh, I, I wish you uh, all the best for taking admission in IGNU, and you are attached to a, a regional center which will uh, which takes all the care to provide quality learner support services. Uh, to all its learners. They have a dynamic uh, team with, under the leadership of a very dynamic uh, regional director that is Dr. Dorothy who has probably just interacted with you all. So uh, this is all from my side. Once again, wishing all the learners uh, the very best in their academic journey with IGNU. And I also would like to thank the regional director and her team for uh, giving me this opportunity to interact with the learners of our regional center, Kuch. Thank you and over, ma'am. So far, you were listening to Dr. Hema Pan, Deputy Director, Regional Services Division, IGNU Maidan Gadi, New Delhi, who shared about the basic about IGNU, the objectives of IGNU, the features of IGNU, the achievements of IGNU, and the various schools of study. So you would have known by now that 21 schools of studies are there. Now it's time to move on to how to study with IGNU. As you are aware, friends, you would have applied it from uh, while sitting at home or while working. So it is virtual contact for seeking admission. And you are also not aware of who are the peers for your uh, program of study and you are away from the distance teaching institution and also from the uh, 
expert who prepared the study material. So what you should know is you should know the deadlines. Deadlines are specific for each of the program. So also the rules. So know the deadlines, know the rules and know the prerequisites. Prerequisites are those which you have to fulfill before doing something else. For example, submission of assignment response is a prerequisite for giving the term and examination. And there is independent learning. So what it means is there is a minimum period of study and there is a maximum period of study. And it is up to you to do the independent learning to decide whether you want to finish it within the minimum period of study or within the maximum period of study. And the learning is also self-faced, meaning nobody is going to come after you to adhere to the rules, the regulation, the prerequisites. It is your independent learning, your, your autonomy as an independent learner, which will define of how fast you are going to move within to complete the program within the minimum period of study and the or the maximum period of study. So friends, you should always remember that we are not going to come after you like the mother cat coming after the kitten. In other words, you should know that you have to cling on like the small monkey to the mother monkey to know what are the rules and what are the prerequisites and what are the deadlines to be followed. And you may ask who is the mother monkey going to be in a distance education system. It is none other than the coordinator or for that matter the help desk or the small email ID which you get a reply from always when you adhere to it. So I request you friends you just take hold of one of the uh, help desk officials email ID or the study center email ID or the regional center email ID to seek clarification for your queries and to move ahead while studying with IGNU. The next is you do please do the self-check exercises while studying the study material. In between the study material there will be question answers after a break of each session and you may wonder why it is so. That, that is to face your learning for that particular unit. And when you are reading the IGNU study material it will look like that somebody is talking to you uh, uh, or teaching the material side by side when you are learning. So please do the self-check exercises while studying the study material. And even though the next point is more crucial, even though that uh, the attendance for the theory counseling is not compulsory, I encourage you, please attend the theory counseling as it will help you to understand the academic matter transacted in the study material better. And do the assignment question after studying the study material. Many a time, no, we just see the assignment question and see the side headings and we just match it and we write some response. No, friends, it is not the way. Please study the study material. When you see the study material, you will see the unit structure and also the contents in front of each of the block. So uh, a course is equal to made up of blocks. And then each block has one content page and each unit has an outline also defined in it. So please go through it so you will understand what is the content in it. And then when you are studying the study material, please go, uh, do the self-check exercises. Please uh, study the summary part of the content of the unit and also the questions at the end of the unit and answer on yourself so that you can do well in your term and examination. And when it comes to term and examination, the old question paper available in the IGNU website will be really useful for you to prepare for your examination. Now, with hearing all this of how to study with IGNU uh, related to uh, the distance learning of meeting the deadlines, the rules, the prerequisites, and how you have to self-face your study, because uh, you, it is your uh, onus is on you as an independent autonomy, autonomous learner and you how to handle the study material which you get. And if in case you are not getting the study material, you can always visit the IGNU website and download the e-content of the study material and start studying till 
you uh, get your hard copy if you have opted for the same. Now it's time to uh, learn from Mrs. Sujini Babu the significance of enrollment number, the difference between fresh admission and re-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study made available at IGNO. Over to Mrs. Sujini Babu. Good morning, dear learner. I'm Sujini Babu. Today, I'm going to share some details on your program title and program code, significance of enrollment number allotted to you by the university, difference between fresh admission and re-registration, study center, minimum and maximum period to complete the program. First, I will be talking on program code and program title. Do you know what are the details you have to bear in mind while studying with IGNO? You should know the program code, program title, the course code and the course title. For example, if you have enrolled for Masters in Psychology, MAPC is your program code. And the program title is Master of Arts in Psychology. The various subjects are identified by course title under course code. Now, for example, for the course code MPC4, course title will be Advanced Social Psychology. Next, significance of enrollment number allotted to you by the university. Now, what is your enrollment number? How many of you know your enrollment number? Once you submit your online application form for admission, and your admission is confirmed by the university, you will be allotted with a unique number. That is the enrollment number. The enrollment number is a nine-digit unique number for those who registered till 2019 July session. However, for those who have registered for January 2020 and July 2020 session, the enrollment number has 10 digits. Why you need an enrollment number? The university identify the student by the enrollment number. There will be many students with the same name, same date of birth. But there will be only one student against one enrollment number. Therefore, it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number while you communicate with the university regarding your program. Enrollment number is mentioned in your university identity card, which can be downloaded from IGNO website. Now, let's move on to the next topic. Difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you come to the regional center or study center, you will be asked of whether you are a fresh student or a RR student. Hence, first you should know the difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you register with IGNO for the first time, either first semester or first year, for any program is on offer, that is fresh admission. You, that means you are registering with the university for the first time. Whereas re-registration is when you register for your second year or third year or semesters. It is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year or first semester for re-registering your second year. But it is mandatory that you register your second year before registering your third year. University has it made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission or re-registration through online from the IGNO website. Next. We will talk on uh, your study center. You may be aware that the university has established a study center at various esteemed colleges, higher education institutions. Each study center has its unique center code. For example, Sacred Heart College Tevera. SH College Tevera is one of the study centers of IGNO. The study center code of 
SH College is 1402. Study Center code starts from 14. That is the Regional Center code. So, each uh, Study Center under Regional Center Cochin will start from 14. Each study center has its own ICNO study center code. You should know your study center code, study center name and address for availing academic support and also for submission of assignment. One thing you have to remember is that regional center is not your study center. Next, I am going to talk on minimum and maximum period to complete the program. Minimum and maximum period to complete the program indicate the validity of re-registration. Sorry, registration. I will repeat, minimum and maximum period to complete the program indicate the validity of registration. Each program offered by the university has its minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way. It is very important that the learner is well aware of the validity period of their registration. There were instances like the student submitting the project report or dissertation after expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university. So it is very important that you complete all the components of your program within the registration period. To know your registration validity you may visit the university website. And you also have the choice to complete the program either within the minimum period or maximum period of validity. Uh, thank you friends. Now Madam Dr. Sindhu P. Nair, Deputy Director of RC Coaching will be talking about the facilities at Learner Support Centers. Over to Madam. Yeah, next. We will talk to you about the facilities at the Learner Support Center. Uh, dear learners, uh, it is very important for you to be aware of the facilities that are available at your Learner Support Center. And in fact, uh, all of you by now may, would be aware about which is your Learner Support Center. The Learner Support Center, as the term indicates, refers to the support extended to you as a learner at your study center or the learner support center for your teaching learning activities and other kind of support which will facilitate you towards successful completion of your program of study with the university. The learner support center or the study center is also the point of immediate contact for you as a learner. Now, the first uh, kind of facility which you should be aware about at the Learner Support Center is the Academic Counseling Facility. Academic Counseling uh, basically are the sessions which the university is offering for the benefit of our learners. You will be getting your study materials which you would be going through and in addition support, the academic counselings are conducted. And therefore, these programs are conducted according to the program of study. That is for your chosen program of study, academic counseling would be of relevance to you. Further, within the program, you know there are number of courses, theory courses and practical courses. For these courses, uh, the theory courses especially I am referring to now, you have academic counseling which will be a facility provided by your learner support center. Till February 2020, the university was offering or providing uh, academic counseling in a face-to-face -face mode where the learners would travel to your learner support center, sit there in a classroom environment, interact with your academic counselors, clarify your doubts, have in interactions and discussions, etc. But now, due to the current pandemic situation, the university is providing academic counseling through the online or the virtual mode. Further, the recorded sessions of the academic counseling is available in the IGNO Regional Center website for the benefit of our learners. Now, the uh, next kind of facility is with regard to the practical counseling sessions. 
Now for many programs in the university, there are both theory and practical courses. For some programs, of course, there are only theory courses, but for programs such as the programs offered in the School of Computer and Information Sciences, such as BCA, MCA and the CIT program, and a program in Bachelor of Sciences, the BSc program, the Master of Psychology program, etc., to name a few, we have lab courses. For the lab courses, counseling sessions or the practical counseling sessions are organized at your learner support center. One aspect which you should be aware of is that for the practical counseling sessions, attendance is compulsory, which means you have to ensure that for successfully completing your particular lab course and thereby your program, you have to attend your practical counseling session when it is scheduled at your study center or the learner support center. Therefore, it means we must be, as a learner, we must be in touch with our learner support center and obtain the schedule of the practical counseling sessions so that we do not miss it and attend it when it is being organized. Another is with regard to the tutor marked assignments. Assignments are a compulsory component in the IGNOS system and for every theory course there is one assignment which has to be handwritten by the learner and submitted to your learner support center. So once you submit your assignment within the prescribed time and the schedule given at your learner support center, it is the learner support center which arranges for the evaluation and also transmission of your awards to the university. So once you submit, you may also ensure that you collect the evaluated assignment response from the learner support center so that you can know your uh, score or the awards that you have got and also use the tutor comments for preparation of your term and examination. Another kind of uh, support that you can take from your learner support center is with regard to getting guidance on project, internship, field work, workshop, etc. This is for those programs or for those learners whose program has a project component or an internship component or a fieldwork component or a workshop component as the case may be. Here I would like to uh, highlight that uh, there are uh, handbooks or manuals given for the project or internship etc. along with the study materials. As a learner we have to read that thoroughly and accordingly we can see guidance from our learner support center for this particular component. Now coming to the term and examination or the TEE which is referred to by the university. Now in IGNO uh, as per the program there could be theory or courses or practical courses. Now for the theory, theory term and examinations are conducted at the identified learner support centers only which means that all the learner support centers or study centers will not be examination centers. A specified list of centers are identified and they are the examination centers. Now, how do you know which are the examination centers? While submitting your examination point, form in the online portal of the university, the list would be displayed and accordingly you can know what are the list of examination centers for your theory courses. Now, the other is regarding the practical courses. Again, there is a practical examination which is compulsory for you to attend and successfully complete. This practical examination is conducted at your learner support center. The next topic is on Know the IGNO Regional Center Cochin, which will be presented by Dr. L. Chandrasekharan. Now I'd like to uh, present a brief history of Regional Center Cochin. The university was established in 1985 and then within three years of time, the Regional Center Cochin was established on 17th November 1988. Then it was serving entire Kerala along with Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Later on, during the year 2009, the southern three districts such as Kollam, Patnam Titta and Tiruvannandapuram have been carved out and attached with Trivandrum Regional Center. Later on, 
During 2011, one more regional center at Vadagara was created and northern, five northern districts such as Malappuram, Kodikot, Kannur, Vayanad and Kasargat have been attached with Vadagara Regional Center. Now, at present, Regional Center Cochin caters to six districts of Kerala, whereas Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and Union Territory of Lakshati. Now, about our infrastructure facilities available for the Regional Center. The present four-story building was inaugurated during the year 2010 and it houses the regional center office, the Gyanwani FM radio station, computer labs, classrooms, conference rooms, guest room, recreation center, and library. And many of whom might have visited the regional center campus and noticed there are two buildings. The new buildings, which is six-story building, inaugurated in the year 2016. And at present, it houses the Regional Evaluation Center, the Model Study Center 14000, and the Study Material Warehouse. Now, earlier days, students on one or the other occasion might have visited, visit, uh, need to visit Regional Center for obtaining application or submission of application or one or the other purposes. Now, since it has become online, many of you might not have visited the uh, regional center Cochin, hence this brief introduction. The regional center Cochin is in Kalur, which is a prominent and conveniently accessible location. The students who are coming within the Ernakulam uh, town or district can access regional center by Kalur metro station at Kalur private bus stand, which is very near and walkable distance only. And the students sometimes may visit from other districts or from sometimes other states for appearing some practical examination, for examination, or appearing for project review, etc. Can visit through train, which can they can reach North Railway Station or Ernakulam Junction or KSRTC bus terminus, which is also very nearby to the regional center Cochin. And for convenience of our learners, we have two websites. You may wonder whether, uh, why should we have two websites for a student who is student of IGNO, one university, but we have two different uh, websites to cater the student's requirement. The main IGNO website caters to all students of IGNO in general, that is those who are uh, across, uh, across the country or across the globe. But the regional center website serves particularly to the students who are attached with the regional center coaching. And there are differences in these two websites which caters different needs of the learners. The facilities at main website, that is IGNO website, which is www.igno.ac.in. <coughs> the regional center website is http colon slash rccochin.igno.ac.in The facilities at main website which are you, where you can download your identity card after your admission you can download your identity card and prospectus saw study materials assignment question papers program guide old question papers exam date sheet etc. At the same time you can do through our website. You, by accessing our IGNO main website, you can get admission as you have done now. After that, now re-registration also you can do through main website. Exam form submission, re-evaluation, convocation registration, etc. can be done through our main website. And the facilities at main website also includes, you can check your exam results, assignment marks, study center change, address change, study material dispatch status, etc. Facilities at Regional Center website, again, particularly for the Regional Center coaching learners, they can download from Regional Center website in the induction guidelines, brochures, newsletter, counseling schedule, 
and they can also submit soft copy of their assignments through the center website. The students, uh, learners of this uh, regional center also get information regarding study centers, which are all available under the Cochin Regional Center and programs activated in each study center. And you can get details uh, for whom to contact for what, for a learner's requirement regarding study material or a change of address, change of study center, or any other discrepancy in the uh, PIN code, telephone number, more contact data is changing. You can con uh, the details to whom it, you have to contact. Those details are also available in the regional center website. And details regarding Facebook live session, counseling schedules, practical exam, internship, project drive hour schedules also are available in our regional center website. And learners, now we have given you a brief introduction about the question regional center. And I will be signing off now. Now, Mr. K.J. Joseph, section officer, will continue regarding study materials. Thank you. Welcome to IGNO Learners. I am Joseph, section officer, going to give you some tips about IGNO study materials. Study material is the most important tool for distance learning system. Material production and distribution division, MBDD handles the production and distribution of study materials. Materials are dispatched through registered parcel to the registered students home address on different times. Suppose if any reason the material pack is not delivered to the addressee, the set packets to return to the regional center. Regional center will send SMS to the students again for collecting the material by person. Some of you may have doubt that these materials are enough for the successful completion of the course. The answer is yes, because IGNO materials are more than enough for successful completion of the program. IGNO materials received the award of Center of Excellence for Distance Education Materials by Commonwealth of Learning in 1999. IGNO study materials are available in two formats, soft copy, digital format, hard copy, blog format. Due to COVID-19, IGNU encourages the students to opt to digital materials. You need to give 50% discount on program fee for those who have opted for e-materials. IGNU materials are prepared in very simple language and a very systematic style. Anybody can understand easily. Materials are prepared in course or subject wise. Each course has different blocks and each block has different units. Study materials includes program kit, course materials and assignments. Digital materials are available at IGNO website, eCAN course portal. IGNO material deposit is called eCAN course. UR log eCAN course is www.ecancourse.ac.in. To view or download IGNO study material, first student has to register, create a login ID and password, and login the eCAN course portal. Instruction for downloading the study material from eGAN course is select the registration type and press go key and fill in the registration form. You will receive a mail containing a special URL. When you visit this, URL will need to fill in some simple information. After that, you will be ready to log into GAN course. Following steps may be used to view or download IGNO study materials. At search depository window, top left corner, Type course code or course name or relevant keyword for the content you are searching for and press enter key. Click on course code or course name to view or download under unit hits. Click on the respective blocks. Click on respective links. Click on view or open button to view or download the study material. The other option is to browse through the community list by clicking India in the home page. For Android mobile users, Android mobile app also available for downloading the soft copy of the materials. Download the IGNO eContent Android app from Google Play Store and install your mobile and login and search your study materials from eContent 
Android app. Thank you. Now I hand over to Dr. Sindhu Pinar, Deputy Director for Online Counseling Topic. Thank you. Dear learners, I'll tell you some information regarding the online counseling. You'd recall that some time back we were discussing or we were telling that the counseling is now an online activity and only in the virtual mode. And this is being conducted only in the through various platforms. Now, online counseling is basically a course wise activity. And for a particular course, the online counseling is conducted. This course wise, it is being organized by the Learner Support Center as a facility offered by the Learner Support Center. Being an online platform, uh, online mode of counseling, various platforms are used, and the, uh, the, the details with regard to the platforms being used, web link, etc., is shared with the learners so that they can attend the sessions. The intimation regarding the counseling schedule is sent to the learners by way of SMS or email. Uh, an aspect which I would like, like to draw your attention to is regarding uh, the learner etiquette and seek your cooperation for the successful conduct of online counseling sessions. As you know, in a face-to-face -face mode, we travel and we come to a, a classroom mode of environment and we attend the session. But being in an online mode, we have the uh, kind of flexibility or freedom to attend from wherever we are. And therefore, when we are attending an online mode, some aspects we need to take care of. Uh, for instance, uh, the, kind, the way we interact on the online mode, uh, any of the platforms do enable an audio or a video enabling. So what we as a learner need to take care of is that while the academic session is in progress and your academic counselor is taking the session, please keep your audio and video in off mode so that there is no distraction for the conduct of the online counseling. As you know, there are a large number of learners in the online environment and each of us need to specifically take care of this take care of it. For instance, by mistake, if your video gets on and you're not in a very formal setting, so therefore, please ensure that uh, your uh, uh, etiquette as a learner in the online environment is taken care of. And of course, during the interaction, when academic counseling is taking place, uh, when the academic counselor seeks your interaction, please, you can definitely uh, come on on the audio or the, or the mode, and then you can interact with the, uh, with the academic counselor and class clarify your doubts, etc. Now, with regard to the online counseling, please do ensure that you submit your attendance during the uh, session. The attendance during the session is uh, important. And when you submit your attendance, you are entering from an online mode. But uh, please ensure that your uh, enrollment number is taken care of please you have to mark your attendance by giving your enrollment number in the attendance so when you are in the session uh, please ensure that you access the session well on time and the instruction given by the academic counselor is uh, with regard to attendance is taken care of maybe in the chat box or during the uh, uh, session instructions will be given by the learner support center. Please give uh, attention to that and please ensure that during the session you mark your attendance by uh, by specifically mentioning your enrollment number as well. That is very important. And also I would like to inform you that the academic counseling sessions are recorded and uploaded in the regional center website for our benefit of our learners. So that is about online counseling. Uh, next. Uh, we would be talking to you about internal assessment of IGNU and I request uh, Dr. V.P. Jalajakumari, uh, Assistant Regional Director, to kindly talk on internal assessment at IGNU. Uh, dear learners of IGNU, uh, once again we wholeheartedly welcome you all uh, to hear about the learning activities of uh, Indira Gandhi National Open University. And uh, you are hearing a lot of information regarding the infrastructural aspects, the services provided by Regional Center Coaching at the same time by the main, from the main website of IGNU and that of Sindhipi Nair Madam was telling about academic counseling. So uh, we hope almost uh, many of the students may have received your study materials. 
now you were hearing about academic counseling also certainly you will be eager to know about the procedure uh, for submitting your assignments before that i have to convey that uh, as well as the external examinations as well as the ex external examination that uh, we call in igno that is tamend examination it is equally important that the internal assessment mechanism of igno also because uh, you are distant learners you are not uh, always be in touch with us only rare chances to get into contact with us to interact actually the internal assessment mechanisms are providing opportunity to you to uh, interact with the academic counselors and the study center as well as the regional center so i have to tell you the internal asses assessment mechanisms here there are many mecha uh, assessment mechanisms are there internal assessment mechanisms are there and uh, they are the most important one everything is equally important but the first thing you have to do with your learning uh, in igno is assignment then uh, field work studies any internship is there project work is there practical components are also there you don't think that for all your programs these all components are coming together with but for some of the programs some of the programs internship is there some other programs have project some other programs have workshop some other projects uh, programs have practical sessions but for all programs for all courses assignment is there that is the importance of assignment that means programs you know uh, sujini madam was telling about programs and courses now you are familiar with the terminologies for all courses means all papers of programs there is one assignment each that means you have to submit assignment for all courses of all programs sometimes that may be of first semester sometimes of uh, first year then like that second year next year semesters that will come subsequently now i am telling you about assignment sub response submission you know that uh, our uh, situation is uh, covid pandemic uh, so we have multiple uh, formalities multiple um, strategies for submitting your assignments you can submit as usual by post by hand also you can submit that means you can submit the assignment in the concerned study centers first you have to know that assignment submission is at lse lse means learner support centers so you prepare your assignment and submit by hand in the lse there may be a drop box especially it is uh, uh, particularly because of the covid pandemic nobody is accepting directly from the hands of the students so a mechanism for ask covid protocol is there you can submit you can put you the prepared assignment in the drop box that is one thing by post also that i already have told another system is online submission of assignments i'll tell you in detail regarding online submission so you may be thinking that from where we will get our assignment questions you will get the assignment questions from the igno website dr chandrasekharin was telling you about the main igno website and the students who have taken admission can be aware of the igno website mainly so w, go to www.ignu.ac.in and there uh, after your online registration you are registering online and that uh, link you know next to that student support is there there student zone is there then you can see that it's see the slide i hope it is uh, marked with the red ink assignment is given in the downloads so go to student support student zone there student support their downloads is given in downloads assignments is marked separately you can click on assignments then 
the assignment uh, very, uh, window will be appearing. Their assignments are given program wise. If you click on one particular program, means your program, the other options will, will be appeared, means the courses. And the one thing I have to tell you that sometimes you are not um, ready to submit your assignment in the, this session itself. Then you can submit in the eligible se session. That means after completing one year, at any time, students will be uh, allowable to submit your assignment before the period, uh, maximum period expired. Whenever you are submitting your assignment, in the consent session, in which session you are going to submit, in that session, sessions, assignment questions will be available in this link. You have to search for that and click on that particular year and courses are given. As per medium, Hindi and English is also given there. You click on uh, the option. If you are uh, writing or you have selected your medium as English, you can download the English question paper. Otherwise, the other medium. Like that, you can select your question papers, download it. For your uh, choice, you can print out also. Then, prepare your assignment as per the direction given on the question paper. Means, uh, that may be giving you several instructions, how many pages you have to write, how many words you can. Like that, instructions will be given. You can submit, uh, you can write the assignments in handwritten and you can submit it uh, in the study center or through online. So, how the online soft copy assignment has to be submitted? You have to now focus on this particular slide, see, in RC Coaching website, because this is not uh, given as a common platform in IGNU main website, it is specifically given by the regional center websites. So here in regional center coaching, uh, assignment submission uh, link is available in the regional center website, RC Coaching website. You know that rccoaching.ignu.ac.in is the uh, link for RC Coaching website, Regional Center Coaching website, where uh, you can go through the link given for, particularly given for the assignments. And this will be coming after the scrolling news. A scrolling news is going on regarding assignment submission December 2020, like that. There, when you click on this scrolling news, you will get announcement. There, Click here to submit your assignment for the consent section will be given. If now, if you are checking now, you, you can see the same thing given on this screen. But when you are submitting it in your consent section, definitely change will be there. But that will also be appeared in the scrolling news. And what is the link given there? You can click on that. So you don't think that. Uh, if this is for the students who are submitting the December 2020 session, may be applicable for the semester students. For the yearly students, uh, definitely if you are submitting your assignments in the minimum period, that will be in the June session. Okay, now let us go to the other slide. So, the guidelines, it is, in, it is like a Google form. It is given in the Google form. The link is uh, integrated with the Google form. And uh, guidelines for assignment response uh, for soft copy submission is also given there. You carefully read it. I will give you uh, some of the important uh, guidelines given in that. Only scanned copy of handwritten assignments can be submitted. That is the very important thing. I already told you that you have to prepare your assignments uh, in handwriting. And you can scan it. And you can submit it. And instruction is given as per the bandwidth of the link. Maximum file size may be 100 MB. All these matches are available, uh, familiar to you because you are doing a lot of things online. So your maximum file size should be 100 MB. If it is beyond that, it won't be accepted. And this, your document prepared means you can uh, put it, uh, you can submit it as in the document type or in PDF. 
like that, uh, there is no provision for submitting your assignments in the uh, email ID visible in the website. Sometimes there may be many email IDs there in the RC coaching website. RC coaching web, uh, email ID is there. Other sections email ID is there. You don't try to submit your uh, assignment in that email ID. That is why in um, capital letters, I have written that email submission, email sub, submission not allowed. Okay, then you write handwritten assignments, scan it, and the, the size of the document should be up to 100 MB. And in the PDF format or in document, uh, you can write it. Submit only for the registered courses. Means in the student registration details, means in the way, main website of the IGNO, student registration details is available in student zone. You can check whether the courses are being appeared there and uh, prepare, download the assignments of the courses for which you have registered, download it, prepare and submit for the same courses. That is what it means. One assignment response at a time. That means if you are submitting, if uh, suppose you have five courses, you have registered for five courses for the first year or first semester or something, then you are trying to, uh, you have written all the assignments, five assignments you have prepared. You do one thing, submit only one assignment at a time. And again, you have to enter to the link and submit the second one. Like that, you can submit all the assignments you have prepared. This is the method for submitting assignments. You don't try to upload all the assignments one by one in one um, submission. Okay, then enroll, enrollment number and other student details should be ended. Because it is clearly given there, a general data sheet like uh, uh, one checklist is there, and you have to enter your enrollment number, name, all other details, program, course, like that, all other details um, wanted uh, in the link. Then, while scanning, you ensure that the document is readable. That is also a big issue. While going through this, you don't simply submit everything. Before that, the scanned copy has to be read. You read it clearly. If you are sure that it is readable, then only you have to submit it. Otherwise, the same difficulty will be felt by the evaluator also. So you don't simply submit the uh, scanned thing, check it, the visibility and re readability and accessibility of the thing. Okay? Then I have elaborately told about assignments because that is the nearest thing to you uh, uh, to perform with your IGNU learning. The other things I have, I also have to mention uh, in the introductory part, that is practical. So some of the courses, like uh, if uh, you are a BAPC learner, MAPC learner, uh, MSc CFT learner, PGD CFT learner, MTM, almost all uh, master degree programs have, uh, have a project and some of the uh, sessions have practical sessions. BAPC have practical, MAPC have practical, and for MSW and BSW, there is field work. And for some of the programs, there are workshops. Like that uh, MAPC and BAPC, again I'm telling that there is internship. For MSC DFSM program also, internship is there. So for BCA students, they have mini project. And uh, in the projects also, some of the projects after submission the dissertation in the final year, you may have Viva OC and some projects are being evaluated at headquarters. Uh, the projects uh, which are evaluated at headquarters, uh, they don't have Viva OC. The other projects you are submitting at regional center have Viva OC. Like that, many variations are there. So according to the uh, program guide or the project manual, or the practical manual, you go through uh, the documents given by Ignu thoroughly. Dr. Sindhu Nair, Madam, was telling about the program guide, handbook, project manual, and all. You please uh, read along with the study materials. You don't think that study materials are the only important matters? No. The instructions, the uh, strategy for uh, going through the learning process of Ignu is given in the handbooks, manuals, and etc. So thoroughly go through that according to the program. The method of submission, preparation, topic, and everything is different. Assessment mechanism is also different. So as per the project guide and manuals, you can prepare the 
these practicals, field works, workshops, internship, PE project, and all records is uh, records uh, how to be prepared and uh, prepare everything and submit wherever it is allowed. Some uh, field works have to be submitted at uh, study center. Internship project records have to be submitted at regional center. Some of them have to be submitted at headquarters itself. So variation is there, changes are there. According to the uh, strategy given in the practical and project manual, you may please submit your records. So this is also one of the important uh, part for your Indian assessment. So remember, the last slide uh, says the other internal assessment mechanism and uh, 25 percentage, 30 percentage of the your your assessment comes from assignment only. So that also to be uh, highlighted in your mind and prepare all these things well and get ready for examination. So examination is the 70 percentage of the part. So now I am handing over my mic to Dr. S. Vijay Rahavan. He will be speaking about examination and your certification that is convocation. Okay, thank you very much. Dear learner, I am Dr. S. Vijay Raghavan, Assistant Regional Director, Igno Regional Center, Cochin. Today I am going to talk about tenement examination. Tenement examination are conducted twice in a year, June tenement examination and December tenement examination. The tenement examination online application will be received from the learners. Assignment submission is the prerequisite. The examination fee uh, for per course is 1 to 150 rupees. It will be paid through the online portal while applying the examination form. After applying the examination form, before one week of the examination, the hall ticket will be uploaded in the IGNO website that will be downloaded by the our learners. All LSC are examination centers uh, at the time of filling online exam form you can choose any exam center inside India in case of abroad learners contact international division at IGNO headquarter for appearing in examination from outside India convocation so convocation is conducted once in a year apply for the convocation through online portal the detail of the convocation will be notified through the daily newspaper of local newspaper you can get the information and also uh, the eligible learner we will send the sms and the letter uh, uh, for the information to the learners the learners can receive the certificate in person or in absentia Link for the upcoming time for the convocation will be available in IGNO website soon. For registering the convocation per certificate, 600 rupees. It will be paid through the convocation uh, port, online portal when the application will be active. That time the candidate able to pay this 600 per certificate. 34th convocation will be conducted for students who have completed in December 2019 and June 2020. Thank you. Dear learners, I am Joseph Section Officer again with the topic of peer refund for economically weaker sections of the students. There are four Schemes are available for weaker section of the students. Number one is direct benefit scheme for SCST students. Number two, Kerala State Government SCST Welfare for Reimbursement Scheme. Third one, Minority Scholarship Scheme and Scholarship for Differently Abled People. This direct benefit scheme is introduced for selected programs only. A separate annex is given in the prospectus showing the list of programs eligible for these benefits. Students, those who wish to avail these benefits 
has to submit their application in online mode along with the soft copy of income certificate and caste certificate. Only one program shall be eligible for pre exception at the time. This scheme shall not be applicable to employed applicants. Student has to submit an undertaking in this regard, stating that this facility is for pay benefit is not availing from any other body or organization for this particular program. The second scheme is pay reimbursement scheme from SCST or OEC Welfare Board Government of Kerala. Conditions for applying this program, students those who wish to avail these benefits for free reimbursement from the welfare board shall submit a separate application form along with all educational qualifications and cost and income certificate at the time of applying along with the application form. The application form is available at the IGNO Regional Centre website. If anyone is interested, the hard copy can available at the Welfare Board Secretariat also. Students have to submit this application form after the confirmation of your admission to the Regional Director, Regional Centre Coaching by hand or by post. Approval and rejection of claim depends on SCST Secretary Government of Kerala. All other rules are same of as scheme 1. The third scheme is Minority Scholarship Scheme. The National Scholarship Portal is available. Students can visit www.nsp.gov.in and register yourself, make a login ID and password and submit your application online. After submission, the application will receive by IGNO and we will verify and forward back to National Scholarship Portal. Then, uh, Government of India will reimburse the amount to the students concerned through uh, NAST transfer. Fourth one is scholarship for differently abled people. Students, those belong to this category, can visit www.nhfdc.nic.in and register yourself and make a login ID and password and submit your application online mode. After the submission, it will receive to IGNO and IGNO will verify the application form and forward to headquarter for reimbursement. The money will transfer to you directly to the student's account. These are the benefits available for financial benefit available for the students who are economically weaker and differently abled people. Thank you very much. Now I transfer the mic to Dr. Dorothy, Regional Director, IGNO for Life Skill Education topic. Thank you very much. Friends, the World Health Organization has defined the life skill as the ability for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life. You may ask why it is so relevant uh, to speak now during this induction meeting is that the learner, uh, and the distance learner, for to be more specific, coupled the desire to access a program of study amidst the job commitment, the personal commitments, and also the social commitments. So many a time it is very difficult to juggle up these issues and give first preference to a study, which we will only know the value of it when it comes to the spin of benefits later in life and never at the time of getting access to the program of study uh, in the initial stage. So what are the life skills for a distance learner? And uh, You should always know that you are away from the institution, you are away from your peers, and you are also away from the uh, the academic counselors or the faculty who prepare the study material and many a time it is not compulsory for you to attend the counseling session. So the first character is you need, we, the life skill is to be honest. The next one is taking one day at a time because we have this minimum period, the maximum period 
and many many a time we think that we will be able to do it in the minimum period and then uh, it gets uh, delayed due to certain activities in our personal life and then you need to be persistent persistent in the sense of uh, knowing what you have to do at what time and also without leaving it out without giving it up and for this you need to be having uh, uh, you should know what are the deadlines prescribed for the uh, for successful completion of the program the rules prescribed for your specific program because rules in igno are uh, what is a program specific and you should also know the prerequisites related to of what you have to do in accessing the program you have accessed it is yes, right what is in the process you have to do so that you the program leads to successful completion of the program and we also you should know that it is only the owners of studying being a independent learner and also self faced study it, uh, it is rest on you as a learner so if you give up you need to encourage yourself and move ahead and the, the next is the expression of interest then steadfastness and peer interaction i'll take you to each of this life skill which uh, is important for you and it will also help you to move ahead in further studies or further aspects related to the study process honesty to the peers because you are also stranger to your peers and peers are also stranger to you and as i told the distance learner is away from the distance teaching institution the peers and also those who wrote the study material so the first time when you come to a counseling session maybe it is a virtual or a face to face you get accustomed to many people and many a time honesty among peers is also uh, uh, valued uh, not only during the study process beyond uh, the process of studying with igno also and honesty to the authorities many times we forget to fill the exam form then we tell that the error came when we are uh, try to fill the exam form so be genuine to tell what is your problem and then be, there is always a uh, solution and be honest to yourself many a time we will think of going out when we come for a uh, um, say for some visit to the regional center or the study center instead of engaged in what is the purpose for of your coming we may be tempted to go out to the nearby shop or to meet some other friend so be honest to yourself focus on what is your objective of joining igno the program of study and move ahead and please be genuine in relationship many a time we uh, do receive complaints when uh, one student say that so and so received the assignment response from me the tips now and they told that they will return it after two weeks and they never came so and uh, it is very difficult to find out who is that person and even some many a time when we call uh, that person do not pick up the call or do not respond so we request you to be genuine in relationship and next one is be honest in admitting faults to error is human it's very difficult that everyone is 100% perfect there will be some hiccups mainly because sometimes you will be personally upset and you will be to talking down on somebody else and you will be socially committed and crushed and you won't be able to fulfill your study requirements or the job requirements so please be honest to admit your faults and next one is do not blame game many a time when we are at fault or when any anything we just throw tantrums we say uh, either in the job why i am relating to the job your social and your personal commitment is all these play a important role when to ensure that the access into the program of study leads to successful completion of the program do not blame game the boss telling because you did not give the leave i could not study don't blame game telling you the tight schedule did not allow me to come for the um, compulsory practical classes take schedule your program face it out and please take your boss into confidence your family into confidence and also your friends into confidence so that they will spare time for you and also highlight on what is the need for you to study so that objective should be met at the end of the period of study and please do not suppress or oppress people when you are coming 
and let there be openness in your discussion. You should be like an open book. At the same time, be precautious not to be taken down by others. And take one day at a time. Have time management. Taking one day at a time, you know, many times we think of what will happen two years uh, after from now. And we plan so well in advance and we forget of what we have to do today. So time management involves from today onwards. And when you are planning to study, please do not worry about tomorrow. We all know life is so uncertain. Yes, that is why the hurdles are considered to be the stepping stone for, to, for you to move ahead. So what I will say is, yes, there will be some job commitments. There will be some mobility in the job. There will be some uh, other new assignments in the job. There will be some subordinates moving on leave and you have to take the responsibility and you won't be able to pitch in time for your study. Face it out, discuss it out and plan it in advance. And take one day at a time. So many a time we'll be just getting all the books, download all the study material and thinking where to take it out. Even a big amount and they say, you know, when you chip it in a small thing, it will, uh, we can chip it out easily. So always remember little drops make a mighty ocean. And all problems as far as Igno is considered, it has a solution. And please be bold to take the process targeting at a solution rather than blame gaming or finding fault with the system or finding fault or to throwing uh, tantrums on people or talking down on the institution. It's not going to help because you are part of the institution and you are also part of the solution. Definitely we will sail through through the process of your issue and we'll see that you reach a solution, but the time will take. And do at least something related to a study in a day. See, like how we have some time to check our mail, to check up our WhatsApp, check, uh, send a SMS, call a friend, etc. Please have a time to do something in a day for uh, in your place. And next is persistence. Do not give up. Do not give up in the sense, you know, it should not be that you had some aspiration to join the course just because you are encountering difficulties from your job, from your social commitments, from your personal life. You should not give up in uh, successfully completing. So you should target, yes, I have access to into this program. I should successfully complete this program. So, and yeah, I, at this time, I will say slow and steady wins a race, we always know. So I will say this Igno studying is more like slow stead cycling. You should be slow at the same time steady so that you know what you have to focus and move ahead. And little effort matters a lot. And everybody, we would have heard of a small story, you know, in our uh, uh, in our early childhood days, maybe. How uh, when a donkey was inside the uh, pit and uh, somebody was throwing mud on it, every time a mud was thrown, the donkey could jump on it. And at one point of the level, it was uh, talking to the person who was throwing mud on it, telling, I know you will rescue me. So are we optimistic in that matter in our life? See, you all view each of the hurdle as stepping stones. Sometimes, no, unless we are in a difficult situation, we won't be thinking so much. And we won't be so particular in choosing our friends. And we won't be so particular in reserving our thought of action to be discussed with somebody who values us. And never uh, be pessimistic thinking, oh, everybody's talking down, so I am low. No. Peeves one is really a masterpiece and we have a purpose and I strongly believe there is no wastage in God's economy. So each one of us, we are expected to be optimistic, not only towards our life situation, but also studying with Igno. Yes, I missed out the last date for submission of the term and examination. Now what is the next I have to do? Friends, be aware that there is a late fee, always a concept. And we always be accommodative when there is an element of discretion to be. We meaning the learner support centers and the regional center. So when you are forgetting to see, many a time, no, we as adults, once you cross certain particular age, or for that matter, very young also, we would have written all the assignment and we would have left in aunt's place or we would have left it in our office, or we would, have, we would have left it somewhere in a safe place and we could not remember. 
and it will take some either there will be a lapse of time for one week please locate it scan it and you send it with a request letter telling please accept it beyond the last date but in between this lag period you, you please be optimistic to see that you send a your request letter the request letter doesn't come as a excuse when you are not doing it and then try to do it after the last date that also we should know so please do not give up somebody was telling when uh, when we have say we talk about intelligent quotient the emotional quotient etc now the spiritual quotient is also coming up people uh, who trust in god and who trust that there's no wastage in god's economy do not give up that is the recent st study so when things are beyond your control i encourage you please trust in god and then there is expression of interest many a time we are so submissive and we think it is a it is a good attitude not express ourselves in public and that too in a education institution but i friends i i encourage you please express yourself be genuine and do not threaten or link with your job profile many a time we see learners you know who i am who etc etc and in spite of telling the factual situation they really uh, oppress or suppress the officials so please do not do it so expressing doesn't mean linking your job profile for your current profile as a learner and next there is a help desk please be polite when you have a complaint also see many a time you are the first time meeting the person and uh, it, you, we, can, we do not expect to understand what you are not uh, saying or forgetting to uh, say or hiding to say so uh, you should be very open when you are telling uh, uh, placing a request in the help desk for that matter of what you have to do and we also want to share that there is inclusive or integrated classroom meaning even everyone is included in the classroom unless otherwise the learner has a specific request placed at the help desk for example if i am a different level learner you are welcome you are integrated with the classroom and that's what the government of india is also for it and indira gandhi national open university honors this integrated classroom and inclusive classroom so when you are uh, very specific that you are coming without any assistive device and you are walking in without any assistance we will assume that you will be able to take care of your personal needs while writing the examination also or on a individual basis so unless otherwise if you think yes i need some help then you have to express it in writing so uh, many a times when the, the nature call you you should know where the toilet is so when you are coming inside this so you can ask the help desk or else the best person to ask is the invigilator many a time the learners come and complain telling we do not know where the toilet is in spite of having a the display board so we don't know why it becomes invisible when the when the people are looking for it and we when we ask them why you did not express it to the invigilator we do not get any answer so when you are coming to the study center to uh, you are the best place is to ask is the uh, study center office uh, where you want some extra help and if you are coming to write your examination if the best person to ask is the invigilator if you have entered the examination hall all the help desk when you are entering the venue and personal hygiene also matters many a time people come uh, give rather give a more importance to the dress or the dress code they use and they forget about the convenience related to the physiological situation or the physiological um, what is a lacunas so if you are uh, if you have immobility or you, uh, you are using diaper please ensure that you uh, bring a spare diaper for your use and even there's no provision for us to give either a personal hygiene products of any sort and for especially for women candidates we also encourage after writing to the coming to the examination they look for their sanitary pad which is not so you please bring it uh, uh, looking into your physiological need 
And next is request to exercise the element of discretion to accept beyond the last date. This is again related to uh, your request placed to the learner support center or the coordinator when you are forgetting or when you are unable to submit or fulfill the prerequisites related to the last date or linked with the last date. For example, the assignment uh, response submission has a last date. Beyond the last date, please do not um, uh, what is a, uh, try to enter in the soft co copy. Just place, you, you know that you have not uh, submitted it. Whatever reason, please write a letter and send it by post. Definitely the coordinator will accept it. And there will be special need and medical need also. And we are catering to the, such persons. And whenever there is a special need, especially that there, there is a physiological changes in the body, please be specific to express yourself. Many a time, no, many people get the discharge from their exam, from the hospital, and they come to write their examination. Outwardly, they look healthy, but only we know how weak we are inside. I mean, due to whatever disease condition it is, please express yourself in the help desk and ask for a separate room to sit and write, so that you can be relaxed. See, in a classroom structure or examination hall, it is more formal. Whereas when you are asking for a separate room without any uh, additional uh, charges, the same time, you can very well sit it at your comfortable. For example, if I am walking around with calipers, it's very difficult it's to sit in a formal chair. And I can uh, always say to uh, the coordinator to say, please, ma'am, give me a separate room. Please, sir, give me a facility where I can remove my caliper and sit at ease and so that I do not feel the pressure of that steel component pressing my physical body. So all that you need to express yourself. That is why I'm telling the more you express and share your needs, we will be coming, we will be empathizing with you and will be reaching you out. And whenever you think that there is uh, going to be a need uh, for change uh, due to personal hygiene reason or to medical condition, or due to your physiological setup or makeup or defect or whatever reason it is, please bring us part this. Many a time people get wet when they are going to the bathroom and they wait till the dress is, uh, what is it, drying. I mean, uh, sometimes the weather condition is so bad that it doesn't get dried. And we have to call the family members to bring us part this. So when you know your medical need, your special need, and also your personal hygiene related needs, Please bring a spare dress if you think you need it. Only you are the best assessor for this uh, concept related to yourself. So please, friends, please take it in the right sense. Even though it looks like women education, personal hygiene education, however you take it. Expression of interest is related to how uh, we uh, can furnish or function in an inclusive and integrated classroom mainly for counseling session, which is uh, now during this pandemic for the compulsory practical sessions and also at the time of writing examination. And steadfastness. Steadfastness is nothing but determination. Yes, I could not write the exam last time. Let me write it now. And there should be dedication. Always dedication comes with a sacrifice. Many a time, friends, if you observe, the, the, the time or the leisure time activity like seeing TV, TV, seeing serial, talking to a friend, to cut down some five, ten minutes in everything, you will get some half an hour to study. So please dedicate yourselves by sacrificing something of your leisure time activity to continue your study with IGNO. And let there be commitment to do the best. Many times we just say, when we say there is prerequisite to, for writing examination is the submission of assignment response. We, what the learners do is they simply write their name and address all the questions some 10, 15 times. No, that is not the way. Commitment is what you can do the best. And every time you do something best for your study, it is going to augment the mark which you are going to get at the end of the program. Therefore, your certification profile Therefore, your employability in the uh, later in life uh, upon completion of the program. So please focus on the spin-off benefits. Yes, now this pandemic situation 
this is my job profile, this is my social commitment, this is my personal need. Amidst this, I have enrolled to, into IGNU program of study. And what will this program bring? What made me to, or more, what aspired me to join this program? Please focus on it. You will definitely sacrifice some of your leisure time activity to focus on what you have to do related to the study with IGNU. And peer interaction. Yes, as I all, always say, you know, and so far we have been hearing that you are away from the peers, you are away from the distance teaching institution, and you are also away from the faculty who wrote the study material. So peer interaction is a necessity in distance learning. So, but when there is peer interaction is valued, see when you come if, uh, to the regional center, definitely you won't be knowing anyone. But when you are getting accustomed, I will encourage you, friends, do not join peer who are demanding or threatening. Many a time, they will say, if you are not doing this, then we are not going to do that. We are not going to involve you in this WhatsApp group. We are not, and they will be demanding all your uh, help to write the assignments, write a report, etc. Please do not join a peer who are demanding or threatening because your emotional stability is more important than the association with the peer. And do not join peer who oppress or suppress others. Many a time we can hear people threatening. If you are not going, even in your job setup, no? if you are not going to hear, do, uh, listen to us, we won't uh, uh, substitute you, yourself when you are going on leave. And many oppressed by walking out, by throwing something, just to affect us psychologically. So do not join such peer. Yes, officially you have to relate. But you, you, you have an excuse not to relate when you are studying uh, with IGNU. So be cautious, assess a person and take him to a group. And do not join peer who initiate unrest. Many a time the students, the, some students instigate other students to fight against the authorities. At the end we will see only one student fighting against the authority even though there was a mob initially initiating. And so many a time we have observed the person who initiated the unrest won't be there at the end point. So please, when you are seeing unrest, please see it's not your place. See you come to study, you concentrate on it and move out. And you may ask what to do when I have a problem. You have a help desk, you have your email ID of coaching, rccoaching at igno.ac.in. You have the coordinator of your LSC. See, you won't have any problem beyond your study material, which is available in the soft copy format. Till you get your hard copy, please download the soft copy and read it. You have your questions, assignment questions in the website. And it is your responsibility to write the assignment uh, response and submit at the LSC. And maximum is if you are submitting it late, then we, the awards will come little late. See, we have to accommodate. It is like you no know, the bus getting full before this taking off. Till the till the time of departure, we can accommodate people. So you know what where you are, and you know what you want, and try to get it done, and then move ahead. Don't suppress any officials. Don't oppress neither uh, oppress your peers or suppress or be demanding or threatening. Activist may may activate somewhere else, not during the study or in the work spot. And be cautious of whom you are associating, even as even the DTI do not have any confidential profile of individual learner. This is very important as of now, especially this is a women education and I'm talking about life skill. Many students, they initiate a conversation in the WhatsApp and they end up in some other relationship. Outside, sometimes out, without the knowledge of the parents, sometimes without the knowledge of friends. And they'll come and looking, say, on the day somebody was standing next to you, who is that person? Students will come and we will roam around. Yes, we cannot restrict the movement. And if you are getting accustomed to that person, it is up to you to take care of the pro confidential profile. Even for that matter, if the, the, uh, IGNU as a distance teaching institution, we cannot vouch for any of the learner. So what I will say is, oh, uh, when you are having peer interaction, let, yes, it is a need. We cannot be an individual tree in, in a society of learning. That too for a cause of uh, education with spin-off benefits in our employable, uh, employability uh, market. With all that, 
please, I will repeat, friends, please do not join peer who are demanding and threatening. Their voice, they are, uh, once, yes, you may think that I am at the fault. When they are repeating it, be cautious whether you need to continue relationship with that uh, person or not. However, the best their profile is, that is different. If somebody is demanding you, uh, threatening you, psychologically affecting you, you are not to be in that group. It won't give you any benefit related to study. Or for that matter, uh, any uh, spin of benefits to be learned and grown. And of course, you cannot avoid it in your job market, but you can avoid it in your uh, learning sector with IGNO. And with this, I end what is the life skill. And now I rec uh, Dr. Prasutta Krishnan will be sharing about what you have heard so far. So it is more like going to be like a letter sum section. And uh, uh, it will be a checklist for you as a learner. Okay, friends, now it's time for Dr. Prasita Unni Krishnan, Assistant Director. Uh, myself, Dr. Prasita Unni Krishnan, warm, warmly welcome you all to this last session. As Madam already mentioned, as you have heard uh, from my colleagues who have already explained uh, the various aspects uh, which as a, student, as a distance learner you must be knowing. And this has been very vividly explained by my colleagues. So I would just like to sum it, sum it up for you as a checklist so that uh, you can complete your program successfully in future. First and foremost, uh, you need to remember the enrollment number, your 10-digit enrollment number, your program code, and course code. Uh, this is something, uh, the enrollment number, Whenever you write any communication with the regional center or the study center, please write your enrollment number, specifically mentioning your program code. Second, uh, you also need to check your registration details from the IGNO website under student zone. Uh, please check uh, whether your name is correct, whether the contact details, address which you have mentioned is correct. Uh, in case there is any change in your name, address or contact details, Please feel free to write us an email at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. And also please note down your minimum and maximum duration of your program which you are pursuing from IGNO. Especially, uh, for example, a bachelor's degree program has a minimum duration of three years and a maximum duration of six years. Similarly, for a master's level uh, degree program, uh, the minimum duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years. Uh, so please check uh, by which your program has the maximum validity period. And accordingly, you need to plan your course of study. As I mentioned earlier, for any uh, change in name, address, phone number, please write to the regional center coaching at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in enclosing your igno ID proof. ID card is a very important document, which is very essential, I must say, uh, especially when you're writing your examinations, uh, whether you attend your project viva, or even for, uh, for that matter, when you have to get your convocation degree certificate of IGNO. So um, uh, there are many queries as to how an ID card has to be downloaded. I would be explaining the same in the last uh, slide of this um, session. Uh, but I would just like to mention that uh, the IGNO ID card can be downloaded from the IGNO Samarth portal, that is HTTPS IGNO .in. Please note, all students who are registered in the July 2020 session, IGNO ID card can be downloaded through the IGNO Samarth portal, HTTPS IGNO .in. Please download the same and keep it safely so that it can be used for any communication with either the regional center or the study center. Study materials are very important for an IGNO learner and the hard copy of the study materials are being sent to you by post. I saw many of the queries which have been put in the chat box of the Facebook live session uh, in which uh, many of the students have put a uh, query as to we have not received the study materials. Please wait, you would be receiving your study materials soon and meanwhile, you can start reading from the soft copy of the study materials, which is available in the eGyankosh link of the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Further, as mentioned by my colleagues earlier, the program guide is a very vital 
document or a, a guide or a book which can enable you complete your program successfully as it provides all major inputs about the program and how you can go about uh, to complete your program. So uh, please, after attending this session, I would request you all to kindly go through your program guide thoroughly. In case you, uh, you have not received your program guide, please download it from the eGyan course of the IGNO website as a soft copy and start reading it. Further, many, of, many times the student uh, doesn't know which study center also he has op he or she has opted off for. So please remember the name of your study center, the code of the study center. Like for the model study center in the RC campus, the code is SC1400. Similarly, you have to remember the code of the study center you are attached with, the address of the study center, the email and the contact numbers. Uh, as mentioned earlier as well, the study center is the first contact point for a learner because all queries uh, whatsoever you have, the first contact point is the study center. In case your uh, queries are not getting addressed at the study center level, then only you need to write an email uh, to the regional center question. Further, for the learners who have got admitted for the se uh, second year and three-year program of IGNO, you need to re-register for the second semester. So re-register means you have to pay fees for the second semester or the second uh, year. Uh, you have paid presently the fees only for your first semester or your first year of your program. So the re-registration link is a separate link. Uh, which is available on the IGNO website. So please go through the link and re-register for your second semester uh, and the second year online only. Re-registration is completely online and uh, no offline forms are accepted for re-registration. Uh, it is also informed that change of electives is not possible for BA, BCom, BSc programs after the July 2019 session. Uh, so no such request would be entertained as it is not possible. Similarly, uh, it, it is also informed that you need to download your assignment questions from the IGNO website under the student zone. So IGNO, uh, many a times we do get queries from students uh, asking where, from where to download the questions. Please download the questions from the student zone of the IGNO website. And the assignments have to be submitted only at the study center only in hard copy. In case you are submitting by soft copy, you need to submit it as per the link which is available on the RC Cochin website. Term and examinations. In IGNO, the term and examinations are conducted twice a year, once in June and once in December. Presently, due to the pandemic situation only, the, Dece uh, the December 2020 examinations uh, are being conducted uh, in February. So uh, the, for the term and examinations, you need to uh, submit your forms online only. Uh, in case uh, students want to download the old question papers, they can download it from the IGNO website under student zone. Further, for the provisional certificate and grade card, uh, the same is directly sent by the student evaluation division, IGNO headquartered Delhi, to the registered postal address given by the student at the time of his, his or her admissions. Further, lastly, I would just like to add one more thing please download the induction guidelines and the induction video which is uploaded on the RC Kuchin website. The guidelines is a, is a nine page booklet which, uh, which gives you the complete do's and don'ts of being an IGNO student. And the link of the, an S, a link of the same as an SMS was also sent to all of you earlier. Please go through the guidelines and your program guide as well so that this will enable you to complete your program successfully from IGNO. Also, whatever uh, information we have shared in this uh, live session uh, through a Google Meet, the same is also in the form of, form of an induction video, which is uploaded on the RC Kuchin website, http rckuchin.igno.ac.in. So I request all of you to kindly uh, go through our 
two IGNO website. The IGNO website, the main IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in and the Regional Centre Cochin website to get to know about the latest updates uh, as an IGNO student. And uh, finally, on behalf of all at IGNO Regional Centre Cochin, I would also uh, like to uh, just highlight uh, how you can download your IGNO ID card. As I mentioned earlier, you need to log in to the HTTPS igno.samarth.edu.in portal. In the down, uh, in a green color, you can see the new registration. Please click on new registration and another uh, window will open wherein you have to go to the, uh, you can put in your profile, that is your uh, program code and you have to click again in that section, you have an ID card section wherein it's given, it's highlighted in red. You can download your ID card by clicking on that. So once uh, you click on that, your ID card is downloaded. But remember one thing that the ID card which you download is password protected and hence your password is the enrollment number only. If you put your enrollment number, then only you can open the file because many a times we do get queries uh, as to students are unable to know the password. So the password, it is again mentioned, is your enrollment number only. And uh, by uh, clicking on the da onto that, you can open the file and thus the ID card can be downloaded. So I request all learners who are listening to this session, especially for those queries, who are especially for downloading of ID card, please go through the link, HTTPS, dot uh, igno dot samarth dot edu dot in and please download your id card as per the process which is given in the link so finally i would like to conclude by saying that self-motivation is the key to being an igno learner and in case uh, uh, you have any queries most of the queries i suppose if you listen to our sessions carefully would be addressed uh, and you can also be in touch with your study center uh, for any of the queries pertaining to the IGNO program. Also, you can also write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in for any of the queries pertaining to the program you are pursuing. And lastly, on behalf of all my colleagues and staff at Regional Center Cochin, I express my sincere gratitude to all who attended this session and hope this session would motivate you all for the successful completion of your program from IGNO. So thank you all once again.